Epic Stories lineup is now on the rise in Nollywood. Filmmakers have had to recreate war and battles from the history books, and a few times executions and the records haven't coincided. This wouldn't be the case for the characters in House of Gar, as they stand with their swords, horse riding through fierce battle scenes. The women weren't left out of the fight. One outstanding female warrior was the character Nawi, a female warrior from Dahomey. Played by professional martial artist, war champion, gold medalist, thespian, and contemporary dancer, artist Dolly Phillips. Dolly Phillips joins us today from the UK. Hi Dolly, good to have you here on Entertainment News and Channels Television. Thank you, thank you so much. What did playing the part of a warrior in the House of Gar mean for you, given your background and experience in martial arts? Yeah, I said it was like a dream come true because it's a, a role I've always wanted to to do at some point in my life, whether it's me recording it on my own or me being called for a movie. Cause um, Nawi is kind of like, I won't even say she's my alter ego. I'll say Nawi is like my, another personality that I, I am and I exhibit like in a parallel universe or something. So when BAP called me for that role, I was like spot on. I would do it and I would do it excellently. Karate is a kind of martial art, so I do train in karate, yes. I am a third dan black belt in Shotokan karate. I've been competing in karate since I was in secondary school. I mean, I gave a break, I took a long break for a while, but then started competing again in 2019. And I won two bronze medals for Nigeria last year, November, in the WSKF World Championship. So it's something that I do. I teach, I train, I coach, I referee, I judge. Yes, it's something I do. So with all of these wins, you still were able to sharpen your skills as an actor. When did acting begin for you exactly? It's so funny, I'm an engineer. I've always been a science student, but moving back to Nigeria, from Japan, I left all my friends in England and I started looking for stuff to do and I started dancing socially. And it was social dancing that led to dancing professionally that led to acting. So I would say my first acting role was in a dance drama in 2008. So I can say I've been acting since 2008. But then, I mean, while I was in school, in primary school, in secondary school, I was in the drama club throughout, so I have been acting since then. In uni, University of Birmingham, I, I, I did some acting for the Afro-Caribbean Society as well, but that was on a more of a so, sort of like a talent, not anything professional. But I'll say on a professional scale and stage, I started in 20, 2008. Interesting. Let's talk about the fight scene between you, your character, and Oyeme Kun's character. How much training did you take? I mean, how much training did it take to fine tune that scene? We had a trainer that was uh, to choreograph our scenes uh, with Oyeme Kun. But then from just meeting me, he kind of knew that I was a, a karateka and it was so easy for us to bounce ideas of each other. Sometimes if something didn't quite work and I say it feels a bit more comfortable this way and that he was very open and he was very, you know, very open to my ideas and my own interpretation of what he wanted us to do. And um, God bless Mike. Mike too was such a good sport as well. Even if we changed things around and stuff, he was, you know, a quick, a, a quick study. He would learn quickly. He was patient enough to, to uh, follow through. So yeah, I didn't coach everyone else. I was only responsible for my scenes, but we also had a coach for our scenes as well. It's just that, you know, we, we kind of bounced ideas off each other, which was very good. There was a long rehearsal for a lot of the actors, especially like with the horse riding, with the fight scenes with the other actors, because obviously they are not, um, they, they don't do any martial arts or any combat training so they had a, a longer period rehearsals well before we moved to set but for me my my i think we had like three hours <laughs> because um 
I pretty much knew exactly what I, I work with weapons as well. I train with weapons. So it was quite easy for me. I think it was Mike getting Mike with the flow and the speed that probably took a little bit of time, but I totally understand that. But then he had already been in rehearsals for other fights as well. So it made it pretty quick for him too. So for my scene, our rehearsals were not very long at all. It was like three, 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 four hours maximum. And um, for the other guys, I wasn't there. I was only called for um, things that had to do with me. But in the group, I could tell that the rehearsals were very intensive because, you know, some people were camped off to some place to do some training. Some did it at Terra Culture. It was very organized and very well planned out. So it wasn't just get on set and let's put these people together. No, it wasn't that at all. No. <laughs> Okay, tell us about your other experiences with fight scenes as an actor. Yes, in Nollywood. Uh, this is my first movie as a martial artist. I have done, I've done, uh, I was a stunt double for um, a commercial for a, a drink uh, sometime last year, I think. So um, I was called for uh, as to be a stunt double for Erica, Erica from Big Brother. Um, yeah, uh, for uh, a, a drink, an energy drink. And it was amazing. When I was called for that, I, I just thought to myself, I've always wanted to do this. I totally respect stunt doubles in Hollywood. And I think they're probably underappreciated around the world, to be honest. But I really enjoyed that role. So basically, uh, Erica's role was someone going into a car park in the night, going home from a meeting or something. And then she gets attacked by these two guys. But obviously, I mean, being a woman, they just expect that they're going to take the briefcase of money or whatever she has. But instead, she just goes into this serious, intense fight mode and and then just ends up with a massive split to push them out the way which was intense it was it was an incredible experience for me i, ex I enjoyed every step of the of the process so much so i was even wondering why did they just let me do it but that's story for another day um yeah and that was my first combative uh sort of uh, recording in in before house of Gar. I started dancing professionally in 2007. It was around the time I just moved back to Nigeria. Uh, all I did was work. I didn't have any friends here. And um, yeah, so I discovered social dancing. And then it was just salsa, bachata, merengue at the time. And then when I got more into it, I decided to go into Latin ballroom and then went into uh, a dance school for that while I was working as an engineer running my mother's factory. So um, I knew I was going to do that for 10 years. And by the time 10 years was up, I went to proper dance school, dance camp in France. And then I enlarged my dance genre. So I went from social dancing into Latin, um, Latin ballroom, so um, the waltz, contemporary, classic jazz, classic ballet, and then African contemporary as well. And so it was uh, it was easy for me to get into dance dramas at the time because I offered uh, different dance genres at the time. So, yeah. And that started in uh, 2007. And my first major role was in 2008. Okay, so... Dolly, should we be expecting uh, to see you in more movies in combat? What is the plan moving forward from Naui's character? But now that I've played the character of Naui, I'm hoping that I can get more acting roles and more combative acting roles, to be precise, in Nollywood. A lot of women aren't used for these roles, and um, or a lot of trained women, I should say, aren't really used for these roles. And I'm really, really hoping that more opportunities come my way. Of course, I'm an actor. Um, I play all kinds of roles. I've played all kinds of roles in the past. So I don't even want to be pigeonholed into just, you know, a fighter, but a woman that can be a lover and a fighter, I think is a good combination. So yeah, those are my hopes for the future <laughs> in Nollywood and beyond.
I own a gym and a dojo called Alpha Fitness Studios in Lekki Phase 1. We teach karate there. I learned karate in secondary school in Nigeria. At, you know, at the, I started at the age of 13 in the uh, Nigerian Navy. So karate is very, very accessible in Nigeria. There's hardly any martial arts that is mainstream that you can't find in Nigeria. Thank you so much, Dolly Phillips, for talking to us. We've come to the end of today's interview with you. Sure you had fun chatting with us on our Sportlife segment.